Hello. We are speaking with you today on behalf of the Ukrainian Musicians Association, also known as Yuma. Yuma was formed in 2002 by a group of Manitoba musicians who wanted to preserve, honor, promote those fellow artists that created and performed songs and music of their original homeland, Ukraine, where the genre of music originated many, many years and generations ago. Now, we can all agree that music in general is a universal language that spans the world and that it represents hundreds of different cultures and nationalities. So when someone hears a musical instrument or hears the sound of a beautiful singing voice, we stop what we are doing and we listen. The sound of music fills the room and sends a message that creates a wave of positive and calming emotions throughout our inner being. Some people stomp their feet, some people clap their hands, some people cry, while others laugh and dance and sing along. But, like virtually everything else in this world, the Ukrainian music scene has evolved these past hundred years, at least in Canada. So while we still admire and cherish the sound of the bandura and the balalaika and the cymbalit, Today's core instruments revolve around the violin, accordion, guitars, drums, highly featured keyboards, and of course wind instruments like the saxophone, clarinet, and trumpet. The common denominator, however, that key determinant, if you will, continues to be the artists themselves, along with the different ways that they interpret and express the music and song. There really is no wrong way, or a right way, because every artist does it their way. And that is how it should be. So several years ago, Yuma created, developed, and nurtured a Hall of Fame to honor Ukrainian legendary performers that have been an integral part of this varied Ukrainian musical landscape, particularly in Western Canada. Not only did they foster and promote their music by a numerous personal appearances, at events like Malanka dances, Zababa parties, at fall suppers, weddings, state shows of all kinds, but they made it possible for people to hear and see them at any time and at any place via their album recordings or on YouTube via radio and television appearances. So with that as a backdrop, the Yuma organization felt that it would be fitting to create a Hall of Fame to recognize and to honor these Ukrainian music artists. The Yuma Hall of Fame is alive and well and is located in Dauphin, Manitoba, at Silo Ukraina, where the Canada's National Ukrainian Festival is held annually in early August. Yuma is always grateful for any and all support towards the ongoing efforts to not only maintain the Hall of Fame, but to see to it that it flourishes and grows for many years to come. That support can come from financial contributions, as well as in various volunteer activities that are required to maintain the building and the artifacts that are in it. The Ukrainian Musicians Association we welcome your support. You can visit our website at ukrainianmusiciansassociation.org and check out some of the Hall of Fame members that have been inducted to date. You can also contact us via email at yumamanitoba at gmail.com. We may also be reached by telephone Thank you so much for supporting our Ukrainian heritage.